Hi, this is Puck. Um, I'm uh, here with uh, iPhone 3GS and it's a pretty decent machine although I jailbreaked it and um, it's going to a friend of mine now and I have to restore it it's running iOS 4.1 and I cannot restore it the way I normally restore an iPhone like if this iPhone was not jailbreaked then I could easily hang it to uh, iTunes and tell iTunes to you know reinstall the software so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a clean install on a jailbreaked iPhone this this iPhone is sim lock free so we shouldn't worry too much about um, activating it so what we're gonna do now we're gonna turn it off slide power off and I have to tell you a secret about this iPhone it was running 5.11 it was jailbreaked also with um, this uh, program uh, but then absent was it uh, named I think yes absent but then uh, I downgraded this iPhone I had no SSH files nothing but there's a program and I'm gonna show it to you soon I'm gonna make a video about that downgrading your iPhone 3GS to 4.1 or 4.2 so that's what we're gonna do First, we're going to put this phone into a, a DFU modus. And we do that by pressing the power button on and then pressing the home button after two seconds. And then if the Apple logo disappears, we let go after two seconds of the power button, but we keep holding the home button. Of course, the whole thing will be connected to iTunes, to the computer with USB and you will keep holding the bottom the home bottom until you hear that the computer connects so that's what we're gonna do now I'm holding the bottom until the computer says connect you see that and now I can let go of the home button because now it's connected now the phone is into a DFU mode okay and iTunes will start up and tell me that it found a, s a phone that is in recovery mode we just hit OK we hit shift on our keyboard shift and then we hit restore and then we will be able to browse and I think that in my downloads I just downloaded 4.2.1 I select that one and I say restore and I'm gonna put the iPhone here for you guys so you can see what's happening and I hope that we don't get no stupid errors because I'm just gonna bring this thing into original state but then running on 4.2.1 and it's running for 4.1 uh, now jailbroken it's jailbreaked or jailbroken and uh, I just put it into a DFU mode, selected the firmware I want to upgrade to, and 4.2.1 I think is still signed by by Apple, so we should get no error. Okay, we're back. Uh, I told you that I downgraded uh, this iPhone 3GS from 5.11 to. Um, 4.1 I did that with SHSA chip and uh, this is the little program you probably can't see too good but it's this one here SHSA chip and uh, as you can see it's running on uh, firmware 4.1 and um, I want to uh, upgrade it to uh, 4.2.1 yeah so I just selected 4.2.1 and then I say save 
and then it's going to download the SSH. The requested firmware is not longer available for signing. So we'll have to look for another one. But I really wanted 4.2.1. Mm -hmm. So let's see if 4.3 is still safe. Downloading SSH. No longer available for signing. But 4.1 was. Safe. You see, you have successfully backed up. So, um, yeah, I really have to restore it with 4.1 first so you know that's what we're doing we're downloading 4.1 and we will have to wait until it's finished because this phone is now set up to you know and the same way if this was like iOS 5.11 this the same way you can like then downgrade your 3GS by installing SHSH, just just type SHSH in 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 Cydia. You must be jailbroken, of course. Otherwise, this won't work. Okay, I uh, selected uh, iOS 4.1. So let's see what's gonna happen now. Verifying restore with Apple. Preparing if iPhone for restore. Okay, no error anymore. So what we should do in the first place was put the phone into a DFU mode, and then uh, just uh, restore it with the firmware that it's uh, signed to, and that is 4.1 at this point because that's what we did so in some way it's uh, possible to uh, to go back from 5.11 to um, to 4.1 with a nut how you call it with a nut sim locked iPhone 3GS because I don't know if the baseband is is like locked if you will be able to to downgrade it this way if you have no sh files um, stored of the phone itself so you know we're gonna let this uh, do and if we should get the 1015 error we now know how to get out of that but I don't think we will get the error No jokes, we did get the 1015 error again. You see that? We get the 1015 error again and everyone who who gets this error at this point and doesn't know about how to fix this error at this point will be screwed. You know, so that's why many people say don't jailbreak your phone because if you jailbreak your phone and you want to get it back to original if you want to sell it or whatever, you know, you're going to be screwed. So, you know, well, you're not really screwed, screwed but you, you you will have to know how to fix it. And the only way to fix it at this point is to uh, start up our biggest friend that uses Java to run. And its name is Tiny Umbrella. This thing here. This beautiful icon of Tiny Umbrella. I give it permission and you can see the phone is uh, hanging to iTunes saying uh, I can't do anything I'm stupid and uh, you screwed me and you did bad things to me and now I don't work anymore so here in the corner at the top you see the little question mark here you just select that one that is this iPhone you see and then here you see exit recovery and I'm gonna hit that one that while I also gonna put the cam on the iPhone look what's gonna happen Oops. you see that and now the iPhone reboots <laughs> tiny umbrella gets an error and wants to close don't worry about it don't worry about it just look at the Apple logo and you will see that here we will get a little 
progress bar and there it is and that progress bar is gonna finish the install you see the part where it went wrong you know it's gonna finish that and now it's gonna boot up and in a couple of seconds from now we're gonna hear our little friend the chicken there it is chick where are you chick hey I don't hear you where are you ah there you are you ugly little chicken so <laughs> the funniest part of all is we're gonna leave it just like that and we're gonna close tiny umbrella just close it and now we're gonna hit ok on the error the 1015 error and now it's gonna detect the iPhone and it's gonna access the iTunes store and my dear friends look at the iPhone look what it's saying your iPhone is activated and now we are originally on uh, 4.1 now the phone is not jailbreaked anymore and the uh, and the phone is uh, completely original at this point what you should do if you don't have a 3G uh, connection on your SIM card you just go to networks and turn off cellular data data and then you will see that your um, your signal your GSM signal will get much better takes a while before it you know saying no surface at this point and then it comes back and now you have some stripes anyway this phone is back to stock 4.1 I think yes there it is 4.1 and we can now update it to 5.11 but I'm gonna leave it just like this everything works GPS is there yep everything works the phone is completely original now that's the way we're gonna leave it so that's how to restore um, a jailbroken iPhone okay we did it we restored a jailbroken iPhone as you could see it was not so simple because uh, in the first place we never knew what really happened with the phone when we bought the phone and this phone was a factory unlocked phone so that's why we had no problem with downgrading to 4.1 uh, by first of course jailbreaking the phone in 5.11 and then um, installing a program program called SHSH it that's a little uh, program that will uh, you know get the the SH files from the internet for you and will set the phone in a way that you know it will be possible to downgrade now I downgraded the phone to 4.1 and then I jailbreaked it with uh, red snow I can remember yes red snow I jailbroke it and then uh, I wanted to get it back to original I thought well I'm gonna put 4.2.1 on it but that was not possible anymore because Apple is not signing that software anymore it wants you to install 5.11 so the only thing I could do was go back to 4.1 that went successfully because also in SHSH it I selected 4.1 so you know the phone is set up to install 4.1 but then at 75% we get the 1015 error and this error I never got with this 3GS before so you see these errors come from jailbreaking but it was really easy to fix the error with tiny umbrella we just kicked it out of recovery mode that while we kept the error open on in iTunes and and so strange yeah this 1015 error I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it a lot of lot of times these, these days it was three weeks ago four weeks ago when it's when I started to, when it first popped up on one of my phones and now I'm getting it all the time at least I get phones with uh, the 1015 error or maybe I'm just looking for them to find them <laughs> I don't know anyway this is how to fix it I hope you learned something and I say thank you for watching and till my next video by the way 
this video was produced on an iPhone 3G uh, running um, side order and I must prove it to you we are walking to a mirror and here you can see it this is a 3G oh, can you see it a little bit you cannot see anything eh? it's in a kind of cover but this is a 3G you must trust me okay I'll press it out of the cover it's the battery holder yeah you see that this is just a 3G and we're recording with Psycho I'm gonna put it in there because the battery is not too good so that's how we do that so yeah I'll see you in my next video and thank you for watching bye